Welcome to Chef Johnny's Kitchen again. Today I want to teach you how to make pao uh, bun. And uh, this is like a pao sandwich where you put uh, the, you make the pao flat and then you fold it. And then uh, so it will have, uh, you insert uh, the, the fillings uh, in 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 the fold okay and you can see it like a sandwich we, we are I'm going to make the uh, char siu uh, to put inside there you can look at the char siu um, ingredients and the, all the ingredients for making this is in the description box okay now here is a mixture of uh, pao flour I use this uh, pao flour, this brand, and it comes with the, uh, uh, what do you call, the yeast, okay? Two packets of this yeast included in the box. And then, uh, I also put one and a half tablespoon, a teaspoon of um, baking powder and a pinch of salt. And uh, three te teaspoon of uh, sugar just a little bit to sweeten it and uh, here is the yeast uh, I put one teaspoon of sugar right caster sugar and um, one packet of yeast and half cup I think of uh, milk and three quarter cup of water warm up and uh, put this everything together and then here's two tablespoon of oil. And this is sponge. This is the same thing as mixing this thing together. Okay, but uh, no baking powder in this. Uh, just flour and sh sugar a little bit, salt a little bit, and yeast and water. And then you mix everything, you put in the container, and then you keep in the fridge overnight. And this will be like a starter, it will make sure that if your yeast doesn't work, this will make it work. Okay, so it will give the extra sponginess in your uh, flour, in your pao. Alright, so what I'm going to do is to mix all together. Uh, I use half of the amount from here and uh, I'm going to make two recipes. So I only use half for each recipe. Okay, you can use the whole amount uh, in the recipe for the sponge okay and that will be uh, fine also as you can see this is uh, puffing out and it's time to mix all the things together okay I have uh, mixed the things together the ingredients uh, the wet go into the dry and then I have uh, take it out to this board to knead and uh, make sure you don't put too much flour because you don't want the, the dough to become hard okay just gently uh, put a little bit like this and as long as uh, so that it doesn't stick to the hand or to the board okay and uh, just knead okay and make it spongy and roll it around okay as you push forward you turn it and roll and then push forward again it becomes long then you turn it around and make it uh, Okay, turn it around and push forward again. Okay, and then keep kneading a little bit more until you can find that this dough, when you press, okay, when you press in, uh, you will see that the, the, the dough will be smooth. Okay, and also press in, it will spring back. Okay, it will not stay there. Okay, it, it, it moves. Okay, now I'm going, I have uh, flooded the container, 
uh, putting back inside the container and uh, turn it around to get the oil on the dough itself also so that it doesn't stick to the side okay and also to keep it from becoming dry I'm going to leave it cover it and leave it outside uh, near the Sun but not directly under the Sun okay in the shade but um, hot enough to make the yeast multiply okay the uh, dough has puffed up uh, twice double the size so it is time to punch it down knock it down okay and uh, then transfer to the kneading board and uh, knead a little to puff get rid of the uh, air so as you can see it is uh, uh, very spongy and just knock it down and then knead it. It doesn't require a lot of flour and because it doesn't stick so that's good and just keep rolling it kneading it and until it is spongy okay You can use plain flour also to do this, but I chose to do use power flour. It is the same as the super soft, super fine flour. It's very soft flour. Okay, refined flour. So, Now you can see that the skin, the, the, the outside is very smooth, okay, and uh, so I'm pressing it. This is a, another way of kneading, okay, just push it down under, push it under. Okay, and then roll it forward and backward When you press, okay, it it moves, right? And that's good. Now I'm going to, uh, yeah, one of the way to test its readiness, okay, is to look at the smoothness of the top. Okay, when you, you spread, pull it, it will be smooth. And then the other thing is to have a, window test that means when you pull it it doesn't immediately break okay it, it stretches like a window okay like here okay you 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 stretch it uh, this is no good okay so you have to stretch it and it, it you can see that it's transparent so this is not ready yet Need a little bit more of kneading.
okay so you here you can see that it, it, it stretches all right it stretches until it's very thin before it breaks and also when you press it bounces up and uh, you can see that the skin is uh, the outside layer is smooth okay it's smooth Okay. Now I'm going to roll it out and then uh, make it flat. And then after that, okay, roll it up tight and then seal the joints. And then roll it out. So you don't see the, the joint anymore because I've already rolled it out. Okay, my cell phone has been... Okay, so now I must move this not to knock at my cell phone stand. Okay, now I'm going to cut this into... a uh, flatten it first, sorry. I'm going to flatten it and then use this to cut. Okay, I'm going to make it small so that I have enough to spread uh, to make as many as I can for a seniors group. Okay, so I'm going to make this as uh, flat as I can and then cut it. We'll come back with that later. Okay, now I have um, made this, I cut it out with this glass, it's about one and a half inch, and um, then I have put oil on the top, okay, of the dough, cut the, I put oil with my finger, brush a bit of oil, uh, on the top surface so that it won't stick to each other when uh, then I can open up to put the filling inside so now I put a little uh, I prepared this paper tracing paper or parchment paper and I fold this over I put a little bit of oil on the paper because I didn't want it to stick on the paper and then uh, fold it over. Don't be completely on top of one another. Slightly uh, the top slightly uh, at the back. Okay? Slightly be uh, less than the edge of the bottom. And then I'm going to slightly roll the front part. Okay? Not the back part. The front part forward to flatten and make it uh, longish so that it's not so short. Then I'll leave it to 
rice okay just flatten a little so that it is a bit longer not so short then it will have space uh, to accommodate the fillings okay so slightly push the front part forward okay put the roller somewhere uh, a little after the fold okay so forward a little bit Okay, now uh, I have proved this. It has a puff up, more or less. So I'm going to put it to steam. Okay, so and I'm going to put in the steamer. It will be uh, this steamer will be uh, covered. The lid I uh, wrap it with uh, cloth so that the water will not uh, go on to the will not fall on this thing. Okay, medium heat. And about five to eight minutes. These are very small, so they get ready very fast. Now, after it is ready, uh, I will turn off the fire and not open the lid for five minutes so that the the power uh, the the power will not shrink. It will maintain its uh, it will maintain its um, it's puffiness okay it will not uh, become wrinkled so now I'm going to wait for it to cook okay uh, now I have already uh, make this steam this batch and it has come out I have uh, after eight minutes, I stopped the uh, turn off the fire and then waited for like five minutes and I open up and this is the result. Okay, and uh, it's puffed up and uh, if you can, if you open it, see it is uh, not sticking to uh, each other. Okay, the fold is easily open up and where I can put the fillings any type of filling you can have tasio you can have roasted chicken you can have a beef all right roasted beef you can have any kind of fillings you want all right so uh, and if you tear it apart you can see the inside is soft uh, it's spongy okay it's very, it will be very tasty. Try it, okay? And I will uh, post the final product later.